The people want, a slogan that appeared three years previously during the Arab Spring. In Tunis, women were in the front line demanding the downfall of the dictatorship. And then a few months later, the election of the Islamist party Anata was to once again have thousands of them in the streets. وبعد 56 سنة من حقوق المرأة جاء هذا الحزب ليشكك في حقوقنا ولن نسمح لن نسمح له. In Cairo, during the Egyptian Revolution, the women are also there. But during the demonstrations against the ruling power, they are the target of systematic attacks and sexual assaults. While the people of the Arab world rise up in the name of freedom, the rights and status of women unleash vehemence and political clashes more than ever. And yet, 50 years ago, women's freedom and emancipation already seemed a sure destiny for Arab women. While their country became independent, some women, such as Egyptian actresses and dancers, proudly showed off their free and sensual bodies. And the political leaders of the time, the liberators of the people, declared they also wanted to liberate women. Fifty years on, however, Arab women are having to fight more than ever to conquer or defend the rights they so dearly acquired. And their condition has not improved, at least very little. What happened? How will Arab women manage to shake up these societies so closed by sexism and the patriarchy? This film recounts their struggle and their history. <laughs>